Alright guys, Trent here again from the How To channel, and I'm going to be showing you how to play the Legend of Zelda Ocarina of Time Master Quest Multiplayer. Alright, so what happens in multiplayer is you can actually play with, you know, multiple people. Up to four, actually. So, this is a pretty neat patch that is on the internet. Um, emulation started. Alright. Well, with this game, you can actually play four-player Link, which is insane. So let me just show you what it looks like real quick. Alright, as you can see, I'm in Hyrule Field, and I have four Links near me. Well, apparently no one, you know, is playing as these Links, just me by myself. Alright. So what you're going to do to get this file is go down in the description and download it. Alright, after you've downloaded everything in the description and extracted it, you should get a folder that looks kind of like this. Oh wait, one second. No, it would look just like this. Alright, it has Zelda 64 on the inside. It says Project 64 and ROM. Alright, so you're going to open up Project 64. Let's close out of this one. Alright. Scroll down till you see the program start and click it. Now you're going to open ROM and then you're going to find the Zelda multiplayer hack which is in the ROM folder. You're going to run it. Okay, so you're going to get this. You probably have no idea what this is. This is a server command console. Alright, so you're going to open up your internet. Actually, you're going to open up your start menu and type in CMD. From here you get your control panel. All right. So you're going to type in IP config. All right, and then scroll up and then you should see your wireless network connection. Mine is 192.168.0.1. This is what you need to get into your program. Well, into your router. So type in your password. If you don't know if you have a password, then just try admin or password as your password. Click advanced and find something that's like port forwarding or something. All right, name it Zelda. Public port's going to be 27999. Private port is going to be 27999. IP address is going to be your IPv4. So actually, let's open this back up. CMD. So find IP config. All right. Your IPv4, mine's 192.168.0.101. This will change if your router gets shut off, so just hit save settings. After that, you're going to need a program called Hamachi. So I'll put all this in the description, don't worry. Log me in Hamachi. Starting up Hamachi. Alright, so you're going to want to hit network, create a new network. Mine is Blue Link Rocks. Make your own password. Alright. So what people are going to need to get on your server is this IPv4. Mine's 5.207.99.188. So whenever you are on here, on your command console, you would type slash server 27999. Then hit enter. Alright, this starts up your server. You can name it by doing slash name and then whatever name you want. For other people to join, they would do slash connect this IPv4, which is minus 5.207.99.188, space 27999. They would hit it, it would say connecting the server, and of course mine's going to say not because I'm the host. After that, if you are hosting, which I am, for them to join, you have to already have slash start done. And you have to be waiting in the field for your other players. Alright, or just waiting on any other map spot on the game. You get to choose, I think, between like 70 or 80 different locations. Alright, so start this up in your field. Let your other players connect. And go ham on some Zelda, man. And hope you enjoyed this video. I know they did not make much how to play co op Zelda on YouTube, so this is why I'm doing it. Alright, well, thanks for watching. Later.